Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin Math TV. Today, we would like to share how to solve this non-homogeneous differential equation. Firstly, obtain the complementary function for the associated homogeneous equation, which is the left-hand side. We can express in terms of m by referring to the order of the derivatives. This is second order, so we take square, followed by first order, which is power 1, and zero order, power 0 with the corresponding coefficient 1, 1, and 1. So we have 1, 1, and 1 here, and we should set equal to 0, which means that we have m squared plus m plus 1 is equal to 0. And now let's solve for this quadratic equation. We have a is equal to 1, b equal to 1, and c also equal to 1. Apply the quadratic formula, so which means that m is equal to minus b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a, which means that we have negative 1 over 2 plus minus square root of 1 minus 4 is minus 3 divided by 2. Recall that negative 1 is equal to i squared, which means that square root of negative 3 is equal to square root of 3i squared, and we should have square root of 3 times i. In other words, the roots are minus 1 over 2 plus minus square root of 3 over 2 i. And this can be expressed in the form of p plus minus q i. Therefore, the complementary function for the associated homogeneous equation with complex roots should have the general form of yc is equal to e to the power of px times c1 cos qx plus c2 sine qx. In other words, we have e to the power of p, which is negative 1 over 2 times x, followed by c1 cos q is equal to square root of 3 divided by 2x and plus c2 sine square root of 3 divided by 2x. Next, let's obtain the particular integral for the non-homogeneous equation, which is the right-hand side. As we can see, this is exponential function, which means that we should have a general form of a e to the power bx. b for this case is minus 1. And this is different from minus 1 over 2x. So we don't have to increase 1 degree for this function. We can differentiate directly, and we should obtain negative a e to the power negative x. Differentiate again, we should obtain negative, negative, positive a e power negative x. Substitute all this into the equation that we have, which means that we have firstly, second order, which is this term, we have a e negative x, and we plus the first order minus a e negative x, followed by y, which is a e negative x and this is supposed to be equal to the right hand side which is e to the power negative x let's simplify the left hand side plus 1 minus 1 offset each other no more so we left only a e to the power negative x is equal to e to the power negative x so which means that a is equal to 1 in other words the particular integral is equal to e to the power negative x Therefore, the general solution for this differential equation, which is equal to the complementary function plus the particular integral, which is equal to e power negative 1 over 2x times c1 cos square root of 3 over 2x plus c2 sine square root of 3 over 2x plus e to the power negative x. And hence with that. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.